Welcome to this Year 11 Parent Information Evening. My name is Helen McCready. I'm Director of Science here at Cush Holton Girls. During this presentation, I'm going to give you some information about this year's exams and some ideas for how you can support your daughter in preparing for her science GCSEs. The exams are structured slightly differently depending on whether your daughter is studying triple science or combined science. All students will sit six exams in summer 2021. For combined students, these exams are one hour 15 minutes and for triple students, they're one hour 45. Across all papers, for both triple and combined, 20% of the marks will be for math skills, 15% will be based on the required practical activities, and 10 to 15% will require a response to be written in extended prose. There will be no changes to content for summer 2021, but students no longer need to physically carry out required practicals. Ofqual have stated that a demonstration or recording is sufficient. This slide details the grading for each of the GCSE exams. All triple students will take the higher tier paper. Grades are awarded independently for each of the three subjects, biology, chemistry and physics, from grade nine to grade four. For combined science students, there are two tiers of entry, higher and foundation. In the left-hand column are the grades that can be awarded from the higher paper. They're on an 11 point scale from nine nine to four four. And in the right-hand column, the foundation paper on a nine point scale from five five to one one. We make the final decision on tiers of entry in February of year 11 to allow for flexibility and changes throughout students time with us. The tier of entry isn't shown on exam certificate so a five five on a foundation paper is equivalent to a five five on a higher paper. Therefore if we're not confident that the student will achieve a grade five five they will be entered for the foundation paper. The PPEs or pre-public exams will take place in two sections. The first PPE will be the week beginning 2nd of November when students will take paper one for all three subjects. The second PPE will be the week beginning 22nd of February when students will take paper two again for all three subjects. The content for paper one and two is summarized here. Units with a star next to them are triple only. So moving on to some tips for how we can work together to help your daughter get the most out of year 11. The first is to attend intervention sessions on Tuesday afternoons. These are compulsory for all year 11 science students and the focus is on filling gaps in topics covered remotely during lockdown and building confidence on topics that haven't been visited for a long time. The second tip is to plan a revision timetable together. This is easier to do early when your daughter still has plenty of time to spread out the revision. Make sure you build in time for hobbies, social events and relaxation too. This will help your daughter feel more in control and able to cope with her workload. If you can, monitor the revision techniques that are being used. It's very easy for students to feel that busy is the same as learning. Encourage your daughter to try active revision techniques like quizzing and free recall maps, rather than just copying notes or reading and highlighting. AQA have a wealth of past paper resources on their website and these are also available to students via the public drive. Practicing these and reviewing the answers using the mark scheme is one of the most effective ways to prepare. If you don't feel confident with the subject knowledge, you can still support your daughter by focusing on command words like describe or explain and talking about what these mean. Misunderstanding vocabulary can be a real barrier to some students achieving their potential. We will teach tier three vocabulary in lessons. Those are specialist terms, but there can be large numbers of tier two words on a paper. This is general academic language, so more complex than everyday speech. They aren't subject specific, so reviewing them will really help your daughter in all her subjects. As I mentioned earlier, 20% of the marks across the papers are for math skills. Building confidence with these and practicing simple calculations and concepts can really boost a student's grade in science. Many students are feeling overwhelmed with the amount of content they need to know and understand for the exams. Encourage your daughter to see the bigger picture. She'll be examined on three years worth of content and she won't know the answer to every question. Careful planning of revision and talking to their teachers about any concerns can really help students to alleviate these worries. Finally, encourage your daughter and support her in managing her expectations. Celebrate the effort you see her making and the engagement with her revision rather than the achievement of a specific grade. If you have any questions, please feel free to email either myself or one of the heads of subjects. Thank you for listening and I look forward to working with you and your daughters this year.